If you're looking for a convertible that can carry three of your friends around with you and you want it to be affordable, well, there's only a couple of choices on the market. And the one I'm driving this week is one of the best choices out there. It's the Ford Mustang. And for 2018, it's been thoroughly revised from top to bottom. So with warm weather approaching even up here in Detroit, let's lower the top and see what this convertible is all about. How does it look? There's no disputing that this car is instantly recognizable as a Mustang from every angle. For 2018, the car has been subtly facelifted with things like new LED lights and a restyled grille. Our staff is still split on this Orange Fury paint job. Personally, I think it looks great, especially contrasted with all the black accents. And above all, I like that Ford still offers fun colors like this when so many automakers only offer a handful of boring ones. How's the storage? The trunk is a fair bit smaller than the one in the Mustang Coupe, and there's no pass through to the cabin. Now it measures out at 11.4 cubic feet, so pack carefully if you're going on a longer trip. You'll find a good amount of storage in this center console compartment, plus a handy spot ahead of the shifter for storing a phone or sunglasses, and this neat pop-out storage thing by your left knee. There are two cup holders in the center console, but the door pockets are on the smaller side for carrying more beverages. Is it roomy? Headroom and legroom are really good up front, although the windshield header does feel very near your face if you're taller or sit up high. In the back, well, things are about how you'd expect in the back of a convertible. Fine for carting the kids to Dairy Queen, not so good for a road trip to Florida. How does the interior feel? I like the inside of this car. I like all the retro touches like the toggle switches and the analog dials up here. And there's a lot of really nice soft touch materials. We've got a leather wrapped steering wheel, soft stitch leather in a lot of places that you touch, really plush leather seats. But there are also a lot of places where the switch gear reminds me that every Mustang, no matter how expensive, has parts from a $26,000 Mustang. Things like all these secondary controls down here don't feel any more special than they might in something like a Ford Focus. Is it well equipped? This car has every option available on a 2018 Mustang, including stuff that we might previously have only expected on luxury cars. In terms of convenience, we've got heated and cooled seats, a heated steering wheel, and remote start. As to technology, look to the 12-inch reconfigurable digital instrument cluster and SYNC 3 infotainment system. And when it comes to speed, we've got a limited slip differential, Brembo brakes, a strut tower brace, and upgraded suspension as part of the performance package. This car also benefits from MagnaRide adaptive dampers, an active valve exhaust with four different loudness settings. Finally, in terms of active safety, we've got adaptive cruise with pre-collision braking, blind spot monitoring, and a lane keep warning system. How's the infotainment system? The SYNC 3 infotainment system works well in all situations and supports things like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and has optional navigation. The on-screen graphics are big and clear, so it's easy to use at a glance while you're driving. Is it a good daily driver? With the top up, this car suffers from the problems you'll get with any convertible. A lot of wind noise on the highway and so-so visibility out back. But it's a convertible, so of course I want to drive it around with the roof down as much as possible. And when I do so, this car proves to be a really very nice daily driver. And a big part of that comes down to all the electronic features fitted on it. For starters, the active exhaust. I've got the active exhaust in quiet mode at the moment, and it's so quiet you'd never guess we've got 460 horsepower under the hood. I like a good loud snarling car as much as anyone, but I don't know, sometimes when you're driving home you just want to put the radio on and not necessarily have the burble of a V8. This car also has MagnaRide adaptive suspension, so when I put the drive mode into normal, it does a really remarkable job of keeping things comfortable in here. Now, because we've got the performance package and we've got the 19-inch wheels with low-profile tires, over some really rough roads or railroad crossings, yes, it gets a little uncomfortable and the chassis flexes a little bit because we've got the convertible. But I would say for the most part, the ride can be extremely comfortable. 
We've elected for the 10-speed automatic transmission in this car. It's a new transmission for this year in the Mustang. And you know what? I'm actually very impressed with it so far. It's pretty smooth, pretty much just keeps out of your way in everyday driving. But there are some times where you get on the throttle and it sort of sets up this drivetrain lash and shudder through the car a little bit. I don't think it's sort of a major problem that would stop me from buying this car, but a couple of times it's really driven me crazy when I've gone home and the whole drive line shuddered and then you've got a really harsh shift. So 90% of the time this transmission's good, but there are some times when I still feel like it needs a little bit of interweaking. Is it fun to drive? Not that the Mustang wasn't fun before, but this 2018 one is even more exciting. The 5 liter V8 has more power, 460 horsepower, 420 pound feet of torque. It revs past 7,000 RPM, which is brilliant. And what I like about the engine is that, yes, there's a ton of torque all the time because it's a V8, but you still have that sort of naturally aspirated feel where it wakes up a little bit more as you build revs. There's sort of a reward still for winding out this engine. Now, in terms of straight line acceleration, Ford says that the coupe with the automatic will get to 60 in just under four seconds. This convertible's a fair bit heavier, so it's gonna take a little longer. But I gotta say, this thing still absolutely rips. But power is nothing without control. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of braking ability in this car too. Because we've got the optional GT performance package, I've got Brembo brakes up front. They're six piston calipers. The rotors are larger than in other Mustang GTs. And I've gotta say, they do a fantastic job of slowing this car down. And look, this is a Mustang that can go around corners too. That's been the case for a while. It's got Michelin Pilot Sport 4S summer tires on it, and they have so, so, so much more traction than I can exploit while we drive around Detroit today. This thing will hold on all day long when you throw it into a corner. How's the fuel economy? About what you'd expect for a V8-powered car like this. I've been averaging 22 miles per gallon this week, which is right between the EPA city rating of 15 mpg and highway rating of 24 mpg. If you opt for the base EcoBoost Turbo four-cylinder engine, however, your Mustang will return EPA ratings as high as 21 city and 32 highway. How much is it? Well, this one is just under $59,000 because we spec'd every single option. The four options, the 2018 Ford Mustang convertible starts at $31,000 with the EcoBoost engine, and the GT convertible lists from $45,000. What are the negatives? Even with revisions to the engine, the V8 is still very thirsty, and the automatic transmission, although good, still feels like it's a software update away from perfection. And look, the Mustang is an expensive car now. It's shockingly easy to spend thirty, forty, or fifty thousand dollars on one of these. As good as it is, that seems like a lot of money for this car. Who should buy it? The great thing about the 2018 Ford Mustang is that it appeals to more people than ever before. If you just want to go fast on a straight line or fast around corners, or you want to use it for cruising on the weekend, or as your daily driver, well, there's a Mustang for you. What's great about the 2018 Mustang is that all the changes have made it better in every way.